Earlier this year, Facebook's audacious stratospheric solar-powered internet beaming drone, Aquila, flew for the first time. But it's not delivering cat videos just yet. Facebook still needs a way of connecting the drone to the internet. So company engineers in Southern California are working to build new forms of communication using more conventional planes. We are testing an airborne communication technology that can enable up to 20 gigabits per second to the ground and 20 gigabits per second up. That's 400 times faster than most home internet connections. Uh, 20 gigabits per second is equivalent to about a thousand 4K streams, live streams going on simultaneously. It's the sort of bandwidth that could deliver the internet across dozens of miles to a flying Aquila. Then the drone could beam the signal straight down to areas that aren't already online. We are developing technologies that extends that connectivity out to the rural areas. This has never been done before. So Tawari and his team are building an entirely new kind of communications technology. So putting a high capacity, long range communication payload on a solar powered UAV is a very unique technical challenge. Tawari and his team are attaching a gimbal stabilized antenna to the belly of this Cessna. At the heart of this setup is an old but suddenly resurgent communications frequency called millimeter wave. It's the amount of bandwidth that is available in some of these millimeter wave bands make it possible to create very high capacity in multiple tens of gigabits per second data rates over these wireless communication links. Once aloft, they track the plane from the roof of their Southern California offices. Oh, we got locked. We got locked. <laughs> oh. This one. <laughs> One of Facebook's challenges is building a system robust enough to not only stay aloft, but also deliver the sort of bandwidth an entire community on the ground might need. That will mean multiple drones all connected together. The ground station has to communicate to the air station in upwards of 30 gigabits per second, 40 gigabits per second, over a range of 30 to 40 kilometers. Once it gets to the UAV, the two UAVs could have a separation of up to 100 to 300 kilometers. We are developing free space optics links that could interconnect these keelers that are flying at that high altitude uh, for data rates exceeding uh, 50 gigabits per second. Facebook isn't the only company interested in airborne internet. Google and Airbus have both dabbled with their own high altitude communication systems. But Facebook sees Aquila as more than just eyes in the sky or broadband for the rural masses. It can also become a critical tool in a disaster. The company plans to make the technology open source so anyone from a telecom to a disaster response organization could deploy it. Imagine a hurricane comes through and wipes out the infrastructure. You could set up and deploy a solar-powered UAV within hours, and everyone can use the connectivity services to tell their friends and family all, ar all around the world that they're OK. That's a nod to Facebook's safety check system, an online tool that is changing the way we deal with disaster response. The rub is that Facebook is still years away from building a version of Aquila that can be deployed in the real world. Subsequent generations of this technology will focus on reducing the DC power consumption and the mass and the drag. But when Aquila finally takes to the skies, it could forever change the way we communicate, not only in the developing world, but during the most trying times.